All right, uh, it's gonna be sort of like a mini update video. So it's gonna be like 3.5 for the whole series. In this video, I'm just gonna like do some little small changes to the whole system in general, just so we can make things easier to change in the future videos. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fix the issue with the F key held thing, which is kind of inefficient in a way. So first off, what I'm going to do is get rid of this and change this to is typing and change it false. Now we do the normal input begin things. Let's make this the underscore because we're not really going to use this. So if process then is typing equals true, return otherwise is typing equals false. Now, if we scroll down here, we can get rid of this. And we can also change this to if user input service is key down, even a key code dot f, and not is typing, then we can block. Otherwise, we'll just unblock them. So, play again. Let's wait a little bit. All right, if you block or hold F, you'll see that we block, and if we start typing, it just stops blocking. And if we press F while we're typing, it doesn't block again, only when we are actually blocking in the game, like so. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make uh, the block animations work. So in the description, I'm gonna have linked the animation dummy from before, and it's gonna be updated with block animations. So block idle, block broken, which is uh, these three animations are going to be used in today's video, episode four. But in here, in the add state function, we're going to add a variable called attributes or a parameter called attributes and just call it any, which is it's going to be a table. And then now before we parent it, we'll see if attributes is a thing, if attributes then we will loop through the attributes and we'll say new state set attribute name comma value like so. Now we can go to our comma system and we can do comma. We don't want to have a duration, so we just set that to nil. And then for attributes, we can say weapon name is equal to our found tool on name like so. Now we want to actually play the block animation. So we can say playing block animation. And we'll put this in a separate thread. So if it errors, then um, it won't negatively impact the script in a way. So we'll say local core folder equals character.core. Local animations, or loaded animations, you can say. Equals require. Actually, no, let's not do this. Let's reference all of the variables up here first. So local core folder equals character find the shadow core. If not core folder, then return end. Local animations module. And we can say if core folder. Or let's get rid of this. Let's say. Actually, no. Okay. If core folder and core folder find the shadow animations, then. No, okay. Local animations module equals core folder find the shot animations. If not animation module, then return end. Otherwise, we can say local anim local loaded animations equal require animation modules dot loaded animations. Because remember, our all of our animations are in here. So we can say dot loaded animations. Now we can say loaded animations whatever our weapon name is, so found tool dot name, dot 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 block, so dot block, dot idle, play, like that. Because remember, that's how we made it to where we can reference animations. So we have this dot block, dot idle. Now in here, we can say local, we can remove the remove state thing, local uh, blocking instance, equals status folder, so character at status, find for shot blocking. If blocking instance, then we can get the tool name attribute. So local 
Weapon name equals blocking instance get attribute weapon name. If weapon name then, and let's destroy it down here, destroy the blocking instance. But if we found the weapon name, then we can say loaded animations, weapon name, dot dot dot, dot block, dot idle, stop, point one. Like so. Point one is just sort of like the fade where if you set it to zero, it, it, the animation like stops abruptly. But point one gives, gives it a little bit of time to like fade away in a way. So if we play the game, we'll see that the blocking animation does play. Like so. And if you unblock, it stops playing. Like so. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blocking cooldown. So when the player stops blocking, we can go to state service, add state, character, comma, no block, comma, let's say like 0.4. So after the character finishes blocking, they can't, they have a certain thresh, threshold they have to meet before they can re-block again which is the cooldown's 0.4 seconds. So, let's see, yep, over here, if we check the state and it has no block, then you can't block. So if we play the game, let me block. You see that there's sort of a delay before you can block again. And yeah. So that's so the reason we do it like this right is let's say we have another weapon called uh, katana and the tools if we unequip the um the katana or the um the fist tool then the server will check for the previous blocking state or instance and it will find the corresponding weapon name with it, so we can just stop playing the animation. So this and all is compatible with many different types of weapons, which I'll show you in the future videos. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for sort of this intermediate intermission video. So we fixed the issue with the holding F thing while we're typing with these lines right here. And we added an attributes sort of um, parameter to the add state. And using that, we made it to where you can play animations while you're blocking. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Episode four will be released later today, which will handle or show you how to do sort of hit types, which if you hit the dummy, it'll be stunned. But if the dummy's blocking, then it will have like a little um, a blocked hit type rather than a default stun type. And if you hit them with your last M1, it'll block break them. And yeah, that's pretty much it.